Let's check out how to replace the flat tire. That's the new Scorpio. To access the tools, firstly fold the second row seat. Then from the rear portion, pull the strap from under the second row seat and tumble the seat. Take out the wheel spanner. After that, take out the jack handle. The warning triangle could be kept at the rear vehicle floor. The warning triangle is to warn the other drivers that the car is in the breakdown condition. In case of a breakdown, place the warning triangle at some distance away from your car. It would ensure safety for the vehicle owner as well as the passerby vehicles. The car's jack is located under the co-driver's seat. Turn the eye of the jack anti-clockwise to release it from its slot. Then take it out easily. Let's see the case as to how to handle the flat tire scenario. That's the spare wheel. Open the tailgate. Now open the fabric flap which covers the spare wheel nut. And then open the rubber cap. After that, connect the wheel spanner to the spare wheel nut and turn it anti-clockwise to lower the spare wheel. Take out the winch plate from the spare wheel's center slot and pull the spare tire out. The wheel nuts should be unfastened or fastened in the correct sequence. Open the wheel nuts by turning the wheel spanner anti-clockwise. It would take some additional effort to open the wheel nuts initially. The jacking points are located at the chassis of the car. Those are the front jacking points. And these are the jacking points for the rear. Place the jack head exactly under the jacking point. Now hook the jack handle to the eye of the jack. Then connect the wheel spanner to the jack handle and turn it clockwise to raise the car's rear right wheel up. The flat tire is thus off the turf. Now unfasten the loosened wheel nut by simply turning it anti-clockwise. This would get done pretty quickly. Once that is done, you can pull out the flat tire. Now you've got to fit the spare wheel in place of the rear right flat tire. Just lift the wheel and put it in its slot. While putting back the wheel nuts, the tapered face of the wheel nut should always go first. Now start putting back the wheel nuts. and start lowering the jack. Lower the jack down to the fullest and then easily pull it out. Now with the tire firmly placed on the ground, tighten the wheel nuts to the fullest in the correct sequence. Once the fitting is done, drive the car to the nearest Mahindra authorized dealership to tighten the wheel nuts with the correct torque values. With a gentle knock, open the wheel hubcap of the alloy wheel. After that, you've got to fit the flat tire in place of the spare wheel. Push the tire in. And insert the winch plate in its slot. Just pull the winch cable to confirm whether the winch plate has gotten properly inserted. Turn the wheel spanner clockwise to raise the wheel. The click sound is the indication that the wheel has gotten properly tightened. 
in the new Scorpio, the task swap information is communicated to the car's ECU automatically. There is no need to acknowledge the same. Just drive the car for a few kilometers with speeds ranging from 40 km per hour to 120 km per hour. However, after you put back the alloy wheel in its actual position, the TPMS learning needs to be done for the system to be aware of the new positions of tires. The TPMS feature is available only in the S10 variant of the Scorpio. After fitting back the alloy wheel, ensure that you put back its wheel hub cap and we are done.